Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast, what the world is listening to. What is up, everybody? You are checking out the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast. I'm your host, The Hack Body, joined by my very own Hack Body, and we are covering WWE Monday Night Raw from July 15th, 2024, live in Dayton, Ohio. And Mommy is back for this episode of Raw. And we start out with Mommy, Rhea Ripley. She arrives to the arena and walks to the ring. Rhea says, Monday Night Raw, Mommy's home. It's been three months since I've been on Raw because of Liv Morgan. She has what I want, and that is the Women's Championship. I want you to come out here so I can rip you apart. Instead, with Morgan coming out, we get Dominic Mysterio. He has a black rose. Dominic says, Mommy, Mamacita. Before he can talk, World Women's Champion Liv Morgan appears on the Titan Tron. Liv says, I want to apologize for my voice. I'm quite the screamer. Hi, Daddy, which is kind of funny that she said that to Dominic. Um, she says, Rhea, I think by now you know I meant it when I said I want to take everything from you. At first, I didn't see what you saw on Dominic, but it all became real to me. Since you've been gone, I've had him all to myself. While mommy may be home, Liv is finally on top. Rhea says, Liv, you know when you get in my ring, your revenge tour ends. SummerSlam, Rhea Ripley versus Liv Morgan for my women's title. Liv says, I knew the end game was me versus you, so I'm not going to run. I'm not going to... I'm going to, I'm not the same Liv Morgan, you know, I'm going to beat you. Daddy Dom, I hope to see you there too. Rhea says, Liv, I'm going to say this loud and clear at SummerSlam. I not only end your revenge tour, your title reign, I'm going to end your career. Strong words there from Rhea Ripley. We got the challenge made, Rhea versus Liv at SummerSlam. What do you think? Um, I'm excited for that. I think it's gonna be good. Um, I think that um I think that Rhea is probably gonna like make everything okay, but Dom is gonna keep fucking up. I think okay. it's gonna be a, a thing now from SummerSlam. I, I think he's just gonna keep every time they get it right, I think that Liv Morgan's gonna step in and fuck it up for them. Okay. Okay, so she's gonna continue to be the thorn in Rhea's side until Summers. I like the way they're building this, though, but reports keep saying that Rhea's still not clear. So... Yeah, I'm, I, she will be by Summers. She they leaves. wouldn't have made the match. Yeah, you're right, you're right. And to be fair, Cody Paul with his um, torn pack. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe she's ready to get in there and tear it up with Liv. I liked how Dominic was calling her mom Sita, a nice little uh, throwback to Latino heat in China. I think this is going to be a good good match, and I, I'm looking forward to the build-up. Uh, yeah. Dominic tries to talk to Rhea backstage, and there's a bunch of flowers inside the Judgment Day locker room. However, she slams the door, and Dominic's face is going to take more than, more than flowers to get Bobby back on board. I also wonder if Dominic might change, too. What do you mean? You know, maybe Dominic will turn on Rhea. I think that's going to happen at some point. So our first match of the night, we got Bronson Reed versus Sheamus. Bronson tosses Sheamus over the announce table. Sheamus lands 10 beats of the Bowery over the announce table. He lands a white noise for a two count. Bronson misses a moonsault, and Sheamus lands a running knee to get a three count. After Bronson Reed goes to attack Sheamus, but Pete Dunn runs and lands a kick to Bronson Reed. And then he attacks Sheamus from behind. Bronson hits Sheamus with a tsunami. Tsunami. A tsunami while Pete Dunn watches from the ramp. Then you know. What do you think of... um? Pete Dunn here. So last week he helped Sheamus. I really liked Pete Dunn. I always did, but I think it was kind of asshole of him to uh, turn on Sheamus. And I don't really know if I like him as a heel yet. Um, I mean, this was kind of his heel turn. Um, I really like Sheamus, so I don't know if that was the best choice for him, but we'll see. Okay. Okay. 
I um I'm wondering if Pete Dunn is gonna be a full on heel or if he was just kind of saying like, listen, I'm not picking and picking any side, you know? No, he attacked him. I know, but he it doesn't make sense why he did like why did you save him last week just to watch him get beat up this week? You know he what I'm didn't saying? Save him. He did. Last week, Bronson Reed. Or I'm sorry, Seamus saved Pete Dunn last week. Seamus saved Pete Dunn, and Pete Dunn got pissed and wouldn't shake his hand and walked out of the ring. This all started that week. But I just don't get why he's mad at him. Well, that's the whole thing. Seamus, because he thinks that Seamus abandoned the brawling groups. Yeah, but how many times do these groups split up? I mean, I like that. Oh, I know, but that's that's what they're saying. Like, Seamus came out to help Pete Dunn. And Pete Dunn was like, fuck you, and, would, and wouldn't shake his hand or anything. So then the next week, this happens, and Pete Dunn attacks Seamus. I get it. It makes sense for why Pete did that, but I just feel like it was a little, like, unnecessary. I think that it's not like he turned on them. He just, he was out on medical. Like, he was out on leave for a while, yeah. So, like, it's not like he betrayed them. Well, Rhea Ripley is with the world champion Damian Priest backstage. She asks Damian if he needs any help out there, and she then asks why Carlito is a part of the group. Dominic talks to Rhea and tells her he knows he's screwed up. Rhea says, for all these three months while I was injured, I didn't hear from you. Were you too busy playing with your girlfriend? So Rhea's pissed. He kept telling everybody that he was in contact with her. He was talking to her. But for three months, according to Rhea, Dominic wasn't talking. What is Dominic doing on the side? Um, Ilya Dragunov thanks Sami Zayn for the title shot backstage. Sami tells Ilya uh, that he fights like his life depends on it and he deserves a title shot. Sami says, you better bring your absolute best. Ilya says, you better do this. So we'll get that match later. Selena Vega's interview backstage. She says she will be in front of the line after the love triangle between Liv, Dominic, and Rhea is over. Sonia Deville, Zoe Stark, and Shayna Baszler confront Selena, leading to Sonia Deville defeating Selena Vega after Shayna Baszler stomps on Selena's arm and Shayna hits the at. Sh- I'm sorry, Sonia hits the advocate after Sonia, Zoe, and um, Shayna attack. Selena Vega until Caden Carter, Katana Chance, and Lyra Valkyria run out and make the save. What do you think of this group? I call them the lesbians, the studs. What do you think of the studs this week? Um, I don't know. We'll see. They're out there. It's another attempt to make the women's tag teams. Um, you know, but, but a little more uh, competitive. Yeah. But um, I'm interested to see if Natty joins them because I thought she was going to. Yeah, I thought she was one of the original people that Sonya was talking to yeah. backstage. So, who knows? Maybe we'll see that. But, um, yeah, uh, um, it, it's some competition for for um Jade and um. Well, they're not the champions. Uh, no, I know, but I don't think the current champions are going to keep those titles that long. We'll see. I think that was like just a gift to give them an idol to give Ireland. Okay. Dominic Mysterio asked Damian Priest backstage why he didn't warn him about Rhea Ripley coming back. Jay Uso shows up and he asks if Rhea is single and ready to mingle. Jay tells Dom to tell her I said hi. And then Damian Priest tells Dominic, You've been in prison. You need to sh- show Jay Uso what's up. So we're going to get a match between the two. Jay Uso and uh, Rhea Ripley, I would like to see um, what happens there. I'd like to see them get together. Uh, Chad Gable tells Adam Pierce that he knows he talked to Bo Dallas last week. Last week, Adam Pierce tells Chad Gable that Bo is here and to talk to him in the ring. So we'll get a confrontation later on. Next up, world champion Damian Priest comes out. Priest says, Gunther, get out here so we can talk. Gunther comes out. Guther says, look at you, so confident. Week for week, carrying Raw and living out your childhood dream. Good for you. I paid close attention to you. You're not living up to your childhood dream. 
Your reign has been nothing, no prestige, no contribution. We are not cut from the same cloth. I want to spare you the embarrassment at SummerSlam. Hand me my title and move on. Priest says, I wish it was SummerSlam so I could knock your certain, your, what is that? Your certain, your certain smirk off your smile. My handwriting zero. Well, you got everything I fought for my life in the streets. If you, if you're just here for a paycheck, you, we don't need you. I earn this. Gunther says, I recognize your hardship. Being on the streets is a choice. Your parents could not provide. My greatness was always recognized. WWE begged me to come here. Once again, who, if not me, takes on the responsibility to restore honor to this great sport? These people are just like you. You are and will always be street trash. Damien Priest says, for someone with so much clarity, you can't see what's coming for you. You don't have any heart and you don't know what it feels like to fight for anything you have. For the first time, you're going to fight from the bottom because you'll have nothing after SummerSlam. And then Priest and Kunther are getting each other's faces. Who do you think won the promo battle here? Um, Damien. And I don't usually say that, but I think he did. I don't understand why Priest is playing like a good guy, you know? Like, I don't understand. Oh, um, because he's going to turn. He's going to leave Dark with answer. Okay. I like Gunther, though, his promo, because he's always been this asshole. He's always been dressed nice. And, like, what other part can he play? Like, you know, like, it's, I don't, he's not necessarily playing a good guy. He's just... Well, I mean, he's doing baby face things. Like, he's laughing as Dominic is getting screwed over. He's sort of like, you know, he's on the fringe of... Before, we used to hate Damien. And now it's like, okay, he's... You know? But I get it. They want to have good guy versus bad guy. But I feel like that they're kind of smart for making this because Damien's been acting like a good guy for a couple of weeks now. But... Yeah. I don't know. I don't feel sorry for Damien Priest. Oh, you're a street trash. It's like, how? He's the world champion. You know? Yeah. Well, Damien Priest defeats Braun Strowman next after um, Braun's needs give out and Damien hits a south of heaven. Um, after the match, Gunther comes out. Gunther chops Priest. Priest attacks Gunther and Priest lands a clothesline. It was important win here for Damien Priest to beat Braun Strowman, something that Judgment Day hasn't been able to do, and he sends Gunther packing here. Um, next up, Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler defeat Caden Carter and Katana Chance after uh, what's her name? Shayna hits a knee to Caden Carter to get the victory. Uh, again, just a way to put these the lesbians on TV. Finn Balor and JD McDonough talk to Rhea Ripley. She tells them the titles are back in Judgment Day, and she's happy about that. Dominic tells Rhea he has a match to teach Jay a lesson. He tells her she's mommy and wants to show her Rhea belongs to me, to him. And be Dominic. Next, Adam Pierce calls out Drew McIntyre. Pierce says, Drew versus CM Punk will be a great match. We all want it to happen. Drew, how bad do you want that match? Drew says, more than anything. I'm ready to do business if you are professional. I'd like to ask you to apologize to the referees for what you did. Drew says, I would apologize. He says, why would I apologize? Adam says, they deserve your respect. Drew says, no, I've been screwed over under your watch so many times. Seth Rollins thinks he can skip the line. I want to see him pump his head on a spike. Adam says, well, if you won't apologize, you're still suspended. So then Drew McIntyre pushes the referees. Seth Rollins runs out, attacks Drew. He goes for a stop, but Drew McIntyre leaves. What do you think? CM Punk's coming back on Raw this week. Do you think Drew's going to still be suspended, or do you think we're going to see Drew? Well, no, I, I obviously the match for that from the train. Um, but this could be a way of them waiting to see if Punk gets cleared to fight. Okay. Um, the other thing is a prediction that you made. I saw on a podcast that they think that Seth Rollins might 
be the referee for that. Oh, yeah, that's definitely going to happen. With him getting involved, there'll be no reason for him to be involved. I know he might to be a three way. No, I think it's going to be with a ref. And I think the reason why Seth as a ref is a good idea because you don't really know which way he's going to go because he also got screwed by CM Punk. Right. And they had that big confrontation a couple weeks ago. So but they and, also fought McIntyre. Yeah, so, so you don't right. know. That's, that's really good. Uh, we get the VHA, the VHA. I sound like I'm, every time I do this, I sound like I'm from like Ireland or another country. I got to pronunciate better. We get a VH, VHS tape. Like we've gone from the wide six mm -hmm. past VHS past couple of weeks. This time it's Eric Rowan and he's sitting down. Someone at Uncle Howdy says, How have you been? Eric says, The last few years have been very hard. I used to have a family. We were unstoppable. Um, one day the whole world changed. I lost a brother. The person who believed in me is gone. It knocked me on my ass. Uh, Uncle Howdy says, Life goes on. Eric says, my other brother is gone, too. I had no more family. I fell down a well. I didn't want to get out. I was numb. Who's going to miss me? I'm just Rowan. He then looks at the lamb mask that he used to wear. Uh, Rowan says, it gives me hope when I look at this. When I was at my lowest, he reached out to me, and I accepted it. I know I needed help. Now, I, now we have a purpose. To, now I have a purpose to help those like me. We are going to take their hearts. And that is the end of that clip. I thought it was a good promo from Eric Rowan. It was true. He did lose two brothers in Luke Harper and Bray Wyatt. And I think it makes sense. You know, if you were, if you did lose everybody and someone says, hey, I got you, especially your friend's brother, you're going to join. So I liked how it made sense. What did you think of this VHS tape? Um... I liked it. I like, you know, I like all the Wyatt stuff. It all makes sense. It's like coming together and excite, exciting. Um, I like get these videos, but at the same time, there's five of them right now. And I feel like I just hope that we don't have to wait five weeks to see the rest. Like, it's already been, it's been going on for months. And it's like, I get they each want to do the individual video. It's a good storyline. But I, they could have done this back a month ago when they were doing some of the, of the videos through the QR codes. Because some of that stuff was a little repetitive. Like, I liked it, but it was repetitive. And I just wish they did that then. Like, it's time. Like, we want to see them fight, you know? I agree. I do think, though, what I think they should have done is put it on SmackDown too, so that it's not oh, five weeks you have to wait. They could yeah. do air growing on Raw, have Joe Gacy on may do it like that. So it's like okay, instead of it be five, it'd be maybe two or three, and it could be potentially six because we don't know if there's a six member. Well, I liked it, but I do hear what you're saying. It's like they've been this has been going on since like April, so. I get it. Up next, Jay Uso taking on Dominic Mysterio. During the match, Dominic hits Jay and yells at him, don't talk about my mommy. Uh, during the match, Liv Morgan comes out and pulls Dominic out of the ring. Dom tells her to leave. Jay then drop kicks Dominic, Dominic Mysterio, who falls on top of Liv. Liv then rolls over on top of Dominic and starts like holding on to him. However, uh, Rhea Ripley comes out and Liv Morgan runs. Jay spears Dominic and lands an Uso splash, and Jay Uso gets the win. However, Liv cannot run from Rhea at SummerSlam. But I like this setup. I like how, again, Dominic's like, leave, get out of here. Like, you're causing me problems. Mm. Dominic's going to side with Liv. Next, we see Rhea talking to Dominic backstage. Um, she tells Dominic, I don't belong to anyone. I'm not yours. You're mine. So that was a little good. You know, taste of mommy taking control. Next up, Chad Gable comes out. Chad says, I have solved the greatest mystery ever in the WWE. The I true identity of Uncle Howdy is Bo Dallas. Get out here, Bo. Bo comes out. And as Bo walks to the ring, the Creed brothers attack Bo Dallas. They spear him into the post. They stand over Bo. And Bo just laughs as the Creed brothers attack him. He keeps on laughing, so the Creed continue to destroy Bo. 
Chad gets in Bo's face and says, what is so funny? Bo says, there you are. And then the lights go out. Smoke fills up the ring. The Wyatt Six come out. Gable's gone. He he leaves. And so do the Creed brothers. The Wyatt Six pose with Bo Dallas in the ring. That's why Bo was laughing. He knew his family was with him. What did you think of this? Um, it was cool. Um, I wish that they like interacted a bit. Like I wish there was a little bit of fighting. Like, um, do you, you know, think I'm we'll just, get Bo and Chad for SummerSlam? I hope so. I think that would be a good way to start everything. Well, we I made. So yeah, well, I mean, I would hope. I mean, why would Chad Gable be involved in this and have him? You know, I hope that's what they're doing. Our main event, Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn defending against Ilya Dragunov. And this is a great match. We see Sami land a springboard moonsault to the floor. Ilya hits a Constantine special. Sami lands an exploder into the corner. Uh, Ilya hits an H-bomb to Sami Zayn on the floor and a coast to coast. Sammy hits a Luva kick to Ilya on the floor. However, Braun Breaker comes out. Braun runs and spears Ilya as Sammy moves out of the way. Sammy attacks Braun, but Braun hits a T-bone suplex, a spear to Sammy Zayn, and Braun Breaker stands tall over Ilya and Sammy. What do you think of this? Do you think we're going to get a three-way at SummerSlam? Um, I don't know, but I think Braun Breaker is going to win that title, of course. I hope so. He deserves it. I think Sammy is a good champion, but I think with the momentum they have behind Braun, him being so young, I think they could give him the title and he could do good with it. Yeah, but Sammy has had a good... A good yeah, he's defended yeah. against everybody. He's done good. Uh, what do you think about Ilya, though? Do you think he's got... I like him a lot. Um, uh, I don't know. Like, I think he's kind of deserves it as much as Braun Breaker, but... We'll see what happens. So, all in all, what's your favorite moment for this episode of Raw out of everything? There's a lot of talking, a lot of like stuff. I like the for quiet something. stuff. We yeah. liked the Rhea and Dominic, yeah, and Liv. Um, there was there was a, a lot of good stuff. I liked um Ilya and Sammy. It was good. I feel like Raw has been better than SmackDown the past couple of weeks. SmackDown's been good, but I feel like it's it's the B show, you know. And, Raw, you got all this crazy stuff happening all the time. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's crazy stuff on SmackDown, too, but it's more bloodline derived. There's more storylines here on Raw, I feel like. Yeah. Well, with that, we've covered all of Monday Night Raw. We'll be covering Friday Night SmackDown, next week's Raw. We're about to watch, We're about to watch Raw. We are a couple weeks away from SummerSlam. We'll be giving our predictions and our recap of that as it comes. Until next time, stay safe and stay uncensored.